Does that come with, it doesn't come with a uh, tortilla, does it? No. Did no? you want to tort one aside? Is it extra? No, tortilla. No. Uh, no, it don't come with the tortilla, but you can get the tort aside. Extra. I don't know. No, it's not extra. Yeah. It's for the tortilla, the burrito. Yeah, the burrito. Oh, no. You can get it that. comes with it, right? Yeah. It's burrito bowl. It's yeah. got to be some kind of a <laughs> something there. Gonna taste it and try to recreate it at home. We are showing you how to make chipotle's chipotle. lime and cilantro rice. Really, really simple recipe. It's a standard rice recipe. You're just adding two ingredients, some limes and some cilantro. It's not standard because it's chipotle. <laughs> the cool thing about chipotle rice is that it's flowy. And if you're wondering how rice is flowy, when you're used to cooking it, it kind of clumps up together. It's all in the basmati. You get basmati rice and it's gonna just flow apart. Each granule is gonna be its own little universe. If you're get still it. wondering how rice is flowy, hopefully you'll find out soon. You'll find I out. I still don't get it. With uh, basmati rice or any rice recipe, it's really simple. It's a two to one proportion. So you fill up anything you have. You got a coffee mug, shizui. Fill that up to the top, pour that into your pot. And then fill up the same mug with two cups of water. Oh, the dip method. Oh. <laughs> That's you, one. You couldn't go over to the sink to fill it up. One on, one in here, one for my homies. <laughs> <laughs> He's pouring out water for his homies. That's disrespect. Two. All right, there you go. Turn your pot up to high and just add a little salt. Season your rice, that's really important. Season it now because it's gonna infuse right into the rice. Once your rice comes up to a boil, you're gonna turn it down to a simmer and you're gonna cap it off. And within 15 minutes, you're gonna have perfect rice, I swear to God. If you mess this up, you're doing something wrong. If you do something wrong, try it again. I'm sure you'll figure it out. What makes Chipotle's rice so special is really only two ingredients. It's a little bit of cilantro, which just gives it that little twerk, that fresh kick. Just rough chop that up. And then we have these limes right here. We're just gonna give them a chop in the meantime. Get and, those ready. And we'll see you in a few minutes when the rice is done. It's been 15 minutes. Rice is steamy. Holy, Beautiful. that looks fantastic. Most important though, it is flowy. <laughs> it's flowy. Yeah, I guess, I guess I see your point. And what we're doing, we're putting it into a big bowl. If you don't have a big bowl, it's cool, but this is gonna help it cool faster. And if it stays really hot, shh. Oh! Calm down here, I'm trying to do a cooking show. <laughs> These are firefighters and, and their fires. But this rice is still steamy and hot and you don't want it to keep cooking. So if you put it in a big bowl, it's gonna release the steam faster. So much steam being released, but now we're gonna take our limes, we're gonna juice those in. One and a half limes. Honestly, one and a half is pushing it. <laughs> it's really good, don't get me wrong, but. Uh. And then sprinkle in your cilantro. You can do, again, whatever you want. We're gonna be a little more generous, I'm sure, than Chipotle would be with the lime and the cilantro. <laughs> but if you notice, you know, as long as you don't overcook the basmati rice, it stays nice and flowy. You can see each particle on its own. There you have it. Chipotle's cilantro lime rice. Every element to this burrito is very important, even the way they prepare their sour cream and their shredded cheese. So luckily it's very simple. All you do is you take some of the sour cream, pop it in there, take a whisk, you can use a hand whisk too, and just go around. You don't add anything to it, but all you're doing is just getting it nice and fluffy. You notice at Chipotle, their sour cream, it's not globby, like it literally, they take it and they can like throw it on from afar. Pump it up, pump it up. Look at that, it gets so light, fluffy, and airy. Mmm, sour cream by itself. I feel so really good. good about myself. Now all you do for the cheese, we've got jack and cheddar. That's what they have, they have a jack and cheddar blend. But when they slice it, it's always like really thin and long. So I made sure these are really cold, put them in the freezer for a bit. And then Mike, if you just want to shred it on this setting, you have to make sure it's this one, not the big one. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't. This setting, he's. The thing says. is, they like don't. He's changing. Chipotle, setting. they don't heat up their cheese, so if it's shredded really thin, that way, like it has some chance of melting <laughs> in the true. burrito experience. Otherwise, you're, you're you're getting nothing. So nice long strides here. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that yeah. is it. 
We did it. We did it. He has done it. He has like these and gentlemen. That's the. That's the. Uh, oh my oh, wow. god! Doesn't that look like it. Cheddar has got a nice bite to it. Sharp. Jack's a little more smooth. Mm. It makes a good blend. Mm. Got so many requests to make the Chipotle chicken burrito that we just had to not only make it, but make single videos for each component. We made everything. We got the Chipotle chicken, the cilantro lime rice, the bacon pinto beans, this is a spicy salsa, this is the roasted corn poblano salsa, their special sour cream, the cheese blend, and the guacamole. Wow, we did it. We did everything. Damn, it feels good. One last step we did not do, but we're gonna teach you right now. It's so simple, it's steaming the tortilla. They have these fancy steam presses, but we have a little trick for you that can do trick. But, but before we show the trick, see how big this freaking thing is? This thing is huge. It's hard to find these tortillas. A lot of Mexican grocery stores have them. You might have to make them, but even if you have a smaller one, you just have to make smaller burritos. But we found the full-size Chipotle Mega Mega, guys. Yes. And all you do, fold it over, fold it over again, then put it in some paper towel that's a little bit moist. You want to pop that in for about, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. It's going to steam it and make it nice and pliable, and then we can do whatever we want to this thing. How's that looking? Let's see, let's see. Feels warm. Oh yeah, nice and pliable, nice and pliable. Oh God. Here we go. Put that on Here your head after, it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's a spa and a tortilla. <laughs> so we're ready to go. We got our pliable tortilla. We're gonna obviously start with a little bit of chicken. Do it, do it, I can't wait. You gotta do it. Boom. A lot more chicken. And we actually can add the right amount of chicken. We got our cilantro rice. Oh yeah. Add that right in there. Yeah, you don't want too much rice because there's already yeah. the tortilla, a lot the, of starch. The bacon flavored pinto extra, beans. Extra, please, extra. Both salsas, we got the extremely spicy. Mm. Boom, pop we'll that right on. That. And then the sweet poblano smoked oh, the corn way salsa. Look, this is Oh yeah. Fun. Oh, go oh, guys. Now the sour cream was really easy. It's just sour cream, but we whipped it, so you can do, you know how they go kind of like, they Boom. like throw it on. It's thinly shredded cheese blend, so it melts without even, barely any heat, it just melts. I'm a little scared right now to wrap this thing. It's I'll gonna do it. take I, all I gotta, my will. Oh, you think you have I, to? Oh, I can do I've wrapped the craziest shit you've ever seen. You fold one side over, fold the other side over. Then you just go, you start tucking in here. Look at that. Bada oh bing. Oh my god, I'll Bada get a knife and we'll... Wait, there's one thing you gotta do. I'm getting spicy. There is one step you can do if you want to go a little bit further in Chipotle. Because you could put this in the oven just for a few minutes to get oh. everything together. So, why not? That's genius. <laughs> Pop it in the oven for just a few minutes we just to get it a little bit hot. Went the extra step. Check this thing out. Steamy, it is delicious. Mike, did we bite into it or did we cut it? No, we cut it. We, we give this it? thing the proper I wanted to ceremony. thank Sindre for helping out the ingredients for a part of this whole Chipotle experience. Thank you so much for donating. You're awesome. Oh. oh my. That's the proper burrito. It's like all of the ingredients you got in Chipotle, but properly proportioned, a lot fresher. Mike and I just made a video on how to make the Chipotle chicken burrito. We figured why not make Chipotle chicken burrito bowl, just to show you how, in case you don't know how to put stuff in a bowl. You order it up, I'll be the uh, Thanks, ma'am. Can I get uh, some of the chicken? <laughs> You want, uh, you want some of the good, the good chicken? Give me that chicken. And don't get cheap on me, buddy. <laughs>